Welcome back to Greyhack. A few things have happened since we uh, last, since the last episode. There have been uh, two rather big updates uh, that I think we should be taking a look at in this episode. So the first thing is that there is now themes and you can customize the look of your game or well your ui user interface so i have a theme prepared and you can uh, if you okay let me show you so in the config folder uh, where the mail and bank and browser uh, stuff is located you can, uh, there will also be a theme config now. Uh, this is the default one. So this is the data on how the user interface looks uh, by default. But you can make your own and save them. And then you can share these XML files with other people. So here is another. Um, theme that I will be using from here on out. Uh, so what we do is we browse to conf and then we load the other theme. So we open that. Then it uh, loads in all the other uh, all the new colors. So that's what this looks like. And we apply these changes and as you can see the game looks a bit different. Uh, so that's one of the big updates. I won't be tinkering with uh, uh, the different colors and options in this video. Uh, I'm just like doing that off camera. But this is like what it looks like. So you can play around with that. The other thing that happened was uh, that we got a bunch more hardware. So if you uh, look up here, you see that there are two new icons. And uh, one is showing you the uh, RAM memory usage. And this one so shows you the CPU usage. At the moment, the only thing that the CPU uses is, uh, or the on only time you use the CPU is for the sub passwords. Uh, while the RAM is uh, pretty much used uh, for all the programs, except like the chat and the manual, I think. There might be a few more uh, place or like programs that doesn't use it, exceptions, but um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, since the game now it has all these hardware options. We have like motherboards and RAM, uh, HDDs, uh, hard drives, um, power supplies, CPUs. Uh, we can now upgrade our PCs, which is pretty cool. So at the beginning, you start with something like this. You have pretty bad amounts of like uh, the speed is bad, the amount of RAM is bad, the size of the hard drive is bad. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get money so we can upgrade our PC. And I think that's what we're going to do in this episode. Since I got money in the last episode, Oh, I should probably mention that there was a wipe in between the last episode and this episode. So what I have been doing is uh, I have uh, got myself back to the point that I were before the wipe again. Um, so that we can uh, begin where we left off. Um, one thing I can mention also about the last episode about making quick money is that uh, since 
the method I showed in the video have uh, been very popular now that you need a lot of money to get hardware. Uh, it's not as effective anymore and most of the bank accounts in the game, like all the bank accounts, have been cleaned out. And so it's uh, starting to become uh, maybe slightly faster to do the normal missions at the moment rather than hacking banks because there's like very little money to be found in the bank accounts. Okay, so I think we will be building our PC in this episode. And the way we do this is we go to the shop, which is where the um, hardware is sold. And let's just close down some of this. So there's also a few new wallpapers in the game that was added uh, with the user interface update, which is pretty cool. Um, enough. Uh, let's uh, focus on the hardware. So, if we look here, we have some uh, faster hard drives. Um, when you are PC, I would recommend that you start looking at the motherboards and uh, find a motherboard that you f think is uh, going to uh, be able to have the different components that you want. Uh, I can mention that the RAM usage uh, you will probably not be using as much as like 500 megabytes of RAM at the moment. Uh, you will have to open a lot of uh, windows to uh, use up that much. And if you get like one gig, uh, then you're uh, definitely fine. You will not be using one gig RAM pretty much ever. Um, so with that in mind, I am considering uh, maximizing the uh, CPU power. And the CPU is this one uh, at the moment. Uh, if there were like further down the line, there might be a wipe and then new hardware will be generated. But for now, this is the best one. So if you watch this video much later, then there might be completely different hardware here in the shop. Uh, so we want a a, a, a motherboard with a XGA socket and uh, as many of them as possible to maximize. And there is uh, one such uh, motherboard, which is this one. It's got the XGA and four of those sockets uh, plus it has, uh, it's fairly cheap and it has uh, one slot for RAM, which is uh, enough since we can just buy a one gig RAM DDR2. There is one over here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this one or this one, a DDR2, one gig. So that's good enough. And, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty decent. Got a seven out of ten quality. Um, everything above uh, and including seven out of ten quality is the the like best uh, tire. So you uh, if you if you want, it's like a gap between the six out of ten and the seven out of ten, where the seven out of ten is kind of like the the, the better rank or whatever. Uh, so we will be buying this one and let's see here. So we, we get like an email telling us that uh, we have ordered that and in a few minutes we will be getting or well, that's pretty quick. 
now uh, it has been delivered to us and we can go in install we will wait and uh, buy some of the uh, other stuff first so I'm contemplating whether I should buy a lot of hardware here I could go cheap and buy this one instead, but nah, let's go all in. So I, I want this one. We buy the one gig DDR2 RAM and then we buy one of the, these expensive uh, CPUs. We might need a better power supply as well for this. And the best power supply, I don't know if we actually need the best, but the best one is this, but that's expensive. Okay, let, let's let's see what we have here first. So let's try and install some of this. So here you can see the components again, and this is where you get the uh, hardware that you have bought. So we will be putting a new motherboard in and as you can see it has four sockets so we can maximize the cpu power which will uh, make the deciphering much faster then we can put in the one gig ram uh, we get to update the hard drive it's not that important it uh, has to do with the file transfer speed and uh, Let's put in the CPU as well. So as you can see, we can uh, buy one for now, and then when we made more money, since they are over six thousand each, we can fill out uh, all four of them. I don't know if this is going to be enough. It's not a very powerful uh, power supply. So let's apply changes. Yes, it's correct. And it's necessary to restart the machine so that our system installs the new hardware. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oops, the power, yeah, okay, the power is not good enough. Let's see here, the power, uh, so if we look here, we can see that it's using up all the power, which is going to uh, destroy the, uh, or, or the health of the components that will be de uh, degenerate uh, much quicker so what we have to do is we have to buy a bigger power supply which we can do by going into the shop let's let's buy the best one so we have when we update later so the expensive one do we have down here you can see order on the way We'll have to do another there we go install oh yeah so if you if you want to remove something you right click on it and that removes it and then you can put down the one you want and apply changes and reboot there we go. So now we don't get that error message anymore, which is great. And 
we can see here that we are barely using any of the power of this monster right here. So this is a pretty nice setup and we have nice uh, capacity for expanding. So that would be like 18,000 in uh, CPUs we can buy and then we can up date to a better hard drive later on as well. I think there are some that cost like 7,000 maybe. It's a pretty good one that we could buy if we get more money later on. So yeah, it's even more. It's 12,000. That's like the best hard drive. Uh, so that was pretty much what changed. Uh, this is how the hardware update works and and now that we have up upgraded our hardware and fixed our uh, new sweet looking user interface, we hack some of the missions in the hack shop. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.